Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, April 18th, 2023. It is 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay, this is part three of Put Your Warrior Boots On. Chapter one, Belief in the Soul. As believers in Jesus Christ, we don't have to distract ourselves from a feeling of doom, and yet daily distraction is our strategy. We welcome in things that keep our mind on the fluff. We, when, when did we decide we should live below our potential as children of God? In truth, that when doesn't really matter. What matters is that now, this very moment today, we can change and live a different way. Jesus strong. It is the call of God, the call that awakens the warrior, however sleepy and ill-prepared we may be. Rise up. Stop living scared. Get ready. Prepare for the hills. This world doesn't own you unless you give it permission. Put your warrior boots on. Walk in my authority and live. It is the very reason for this book. To claim the power that is rightfully ours. I'm tired of our whimpering and wandering. We live most of our days just getting by and occasionally getting lucky. But God made us for more. He created us to be his warriors who live steady and strong. Most of us weren't ready for the current level of the world's crazy. Though realistically, the world has always been unwell. The news has been especially cruel to us lately. <laughs> With all its talks of terrorism and sexual slavery and shootings of innocent people. But none of it is new, nor is it a surprise to God. Slavery, terrorism, sexual exploitation and senseless violence have been going on long before Christ came and continually at steady at a steady pace ever since it's just come closer and become more personal so we are finally paying attention and as a fleshly result living scared to death i see us we worship hard on Sundays, but during the week we panic, chew our nails, and watch the happenings with the scaredy cat eyes. The world controls our joy levels, the level of our worry and feeling of security. No wonder we live much of life in a fetal position, breathless. Hills, hills, hills. Where is our inner warrior? Where is our Jesus strong life? Where is our willingness to put down what makes us soft and develop what helps us endure? Why do we settle for a flimsy soled shoes when he's called us to walk in warrior boots of spiritual confidence, hope and grit? Okay, so that is all for part three. Put your warrior boots on. Thank you for watching.